if you're in a building, then the thing that has been recommended almost universally over the last 20 to 25 years is what we call drop, cover, and hold on. By that we mean dropping yourself down to the ground to make yourself as small a target as possible. Cover is to, if you're adjacent to something like a table or a desk that you can get under uh, very quickly, immediately, then take cover there. If you're not adjacent to something like that, then to bend down and cover your head and neck uh, with your hands and arms. And then to hold on the best you can because um, the shaking of the ground shakes the building. The, the building doesn't always shake the same way as the ground, sometimes actually accentuates the movement. And one of the ways that people get injured in earthquakes is actually flying around uh, in a building. And that's another reason to stay close to the ground, not on your feet. The Triangle of Life is a theory that uh, a former search and rescue um, participant came up with <clears throat> that um, if you are or can place yourself in an earthquake adjacent to something that is big and strong, that when things start to fall, they'll hit that big and strong thing and then kind of cantilever off and down at an angle. And that creates a kind of triangle and you know, according to his theory, you're safest if you're in that area where the triangle would be created. The problem with it is that um, the advice has you moving around the building trying to seek out that place that might possibly provide the makings of a triangle. What we find is that the vast, vast majority of injuries and earthquakes is not people being crushed by things that fall on them, but rather that they are hit by something or they fall when they're trying to move through the building. So the, the best evidence that we have, the only scientific evidence that we have of what to do to protect yourself is to make yourself as small as possible and seek cover. If you're directly adjacent to something, seek cover under that. But don't get up and start running to something else across the room or across the building because then you actually increase the probability that you're going to be injured. In the United States, as compared to Japan, for example, even if you put yourself next to a refrigerator or a big cabinet or something like that, you don't know if that thing isn't going to fall over on you. In Japan, they anchor all those things to the walls, but we don't tend to do that. And so putting yourself next to something might be, in fact, putting yourself in harm's way. So going down into that uh, drop, cover, and hold position certainly isn't going to hurt you and likely will protect you more than anything else that's currently offered among the advice in the United States.